look, we all know that Disney is going to be the number one, right, in movies this year. Uh, they're they're going to have the highest grossing. They're going to they're going to make the most money. They're, they're the big blockbusters are going to pull in the most cash. I mean, already Captain Marvel is at one billion dollars in less than a month of being released. Endgame comes out here uh, in a few weeks, and that's going to be at least a three billion dollar movie based upon my estimates. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Uh, we've got, you know, Toy Story four coming out. We've got, uh, you know, The Lion King coming out. We've got uh, whatever Frozen two coming out later on this year. There's a lot of movies Disney has coming down the pipeline. So the question then becomes, what is going to take the cake? What is going to be the biggest movie that Disney puts out in 2019? And you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, Matt, the answer is obvious. The answer is clearly going to be Endgame based upon the results of what Captain Marvel has already brought in. Well, if, uh, you know, if you were CNBC, you'd be thinking differently. This is literally an article from today, by the way. This is an article from today saying this year's biggest blockbuster probably won't be Star Wars or Avengers. Now, listen, in regards to this particular conversation in regards to Star Wars, yeah, I would argue that probably makes a fair amount of sense. But uh, but Sarah Witten here for CNBC is going to legitimately make the argument that uh, Lion King is going to be a bigger movie than. uh, than, Than Avengers Endgame. Okay, let's 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 take a look here. Uh, The biggest blockbuster of 2019 probably won't be Avengers Endgame or Star Wars Episode 9. Numerous film industry experts said at CinemaCon at Vegas this week, saying it will be The Lion King. Despite massive advanced ticket sales for the 22nd installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe debuting at the end of April and the final chapter in the Skywalker saga coming in December, theater owners, ticketing agents, and and, and, and analysts predict the top grossing film will be Disney's live action remake of its classic animated film, The Lion King. Saying here, it's got a shot at being the biggest movie of all time, coming from Brock uh, Bagby, executive vice president at B&B Theaters, uh, noting that the film has appeal with multiple generations and is well-known entity in the U.S. and abroad. Now, look, that is entirely true. That is entirely accurate. Uh, and that is something that I do agree with Brock on here. Although Brock Bagby does sound like a really terrible name you get from second tier villains in the DCEU, but not the point. The point here is that let's let's look at it like this. So Dumbo just came out, did okay, nothing spectacular, uh, opening up against, uh, opening up at a time, a month when other Disney live action films have done arguably better. Beauty and the Beast from two years ago, $1 billion opened in mid-March. Cinderella in 2015 uh, did very well, opened in mid-March. Alice in Wonderland opened early March 2010, I believe March 7, 2010, uh, a billion dollars worldwide. Dumbo is not going to hit a billion dollars worldwide. So, you know, and Aladdin is looking uh, for a 70 to 90 million dollar opening weekend. That's what estimates put out yesterday said. So ultimately what we're looking at here is a situation where The Lion King is going to be the premiere film that comes out in July. Let's make no mistake about that. But but it's also it's it's also it's not Endgame. There's there's no emotion. You know the story of, of of the Lion King. As good as Donald Glover and Beyonce are going to be in the John Favreau directed movie, the Jungle Book opened and and I think April. Uh, John Favreau also directed that that adaptation, and that made a billion. Look. No one's arguing that The Lion King is going to make a billion dollars, right? I'm, I'm calling it now. It's probably going to be like a billion five to a billion seven. It's going to make a lot of money. It's going to make a lot of money. However, however, is it going to be Endgame? Now, it says here that Disney shared footage of the film due out in July on Wednesday, showcasing the same beautifully rendered and realistic CGI that the Jungle Book displayed in 2016. And the clip showed to CinemaCon attendees a young Simba and his father Mufasa discuss the Lion Club's future. Look, Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom, James Earl Jones' iconic voice boomed. One day the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. It will be yours to protect. And that's an iconic moment. That's an iconic moment, no doubt about it. It's gonna it already kind of giving me chills thinking about it, to be fair. It's a good movie. I love Lion King. I remember seeing that movie in theaters back in 1994, and I cried, I cried my damn eyes out when, Mufa, when, when Mustafa died. Now, the hyper-realistic visuals of the Pride Land and the Lions themselves, who looked like something out of a nature documentary, wowed the crowd of theater owners, industry professionals, critics, drawing audible gasps, saying, I definitely think The Lion King is going to be one of the year's biggest films at the box office, coming from Eric Davis, the managing editor of Fandango. Not only is the nostalgia factor a major draw of this title, but the effects are groundbreaking and they look incredible. And no one is arguing against that. But again, I just, I have to, I, I, I you know, 
Endgame. 22 films in, in, in an 11-year period. Two films a year on average, right? Two films a year on average. 22 movies, emotional arc, coming to a conclusion. Three of our favorite characters are going to meet their finale in this movie that we know of right now. Robert Denny Jr., Chris Evans, and Chris Hemsworth. So Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity of Marvel, at least, in their, in their, in their movies, is going to come to an end uh, in this movie. Their stories are all coming to a close. So the question then becomes, why are they trying to argue that this movie, that Lion King, is going to beat out Endgame? I don't get that. Now, because even, even the arg argument here, go and look, just even kind of like going through the article here, they don't talk about Endgame. That's one of the reasons why I find this article to be a little bit kind of uh, duplicitous, if you will. It's definitely clickbaity. The article is going to talk about how, yeah, Lion King is going to do, do well. We all know Lion King is going to do very, very, very well. But is it going to beat Endgame? Endgame, I'm, I'm saying, is going to beat Avatar. Avatar was $2.78 billion. I think Endgame is going to do more than that. They are going to put this movie in as many screens as humanly possible. And a lot of people are going to see it multiple, multiple, multiple times because there's going to be a lot there that's going to propel it to that particular level. The hype for the hype for Lion King is 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 there, but because there's been no marketing for the movie thus far, the hype isn't on a on a kind of scale yet. Theater owners are going to be excited because it's going to be mid July when that's usually the typical end of the summer movie going season. And that's usually when ticket sales start to kind of slump off a little bit as people kind of move into the to the dog days of summer, which would be August, which has a couple big movies, but ultimately not much as people prepare to go to school. Families go on those final vacations. August has never been a traditionally great month. I've worked in theaters for 14 years. Trust me, August is always like that. That slow decline. September. Yeah, pretty dead. <laughs> it's pretty dead. Uh, these are things I do know. And so, yeah, it, it's going to be a big one and it's going to do well overseas, but it might also have a, have a steep drop off based upon when it's going to come out. It's true. It's true. When you look at the, the, it's coming out at the end of summer. It literally is probably going to be like the last really big movie in July. So it's not going to have a lot of competition. Spider-Man opens up a couple weeks beforehand. Uh, you, you, I don't even know what else comes out in July. I haven't even looked that far ahead yet, but we know Spider-Man is going to be big. We know this one's going to be big, but then going into August, depending on what's there, it could dominate August, but we're never going to see something similar to like. We're never going to see something similar to, to Titanic ever again. When Titanic opened in December 1997, it was in theaters for like, you know, six more months. We're not going to get that with Lion King. We're not going to get that with even Endgame. I mean, they might hold on for quite some time, but we're talking like second run theaters. But ultimately, these movies have a much faster turnaround now, which is why there's such um, a desire, a need, a push to get those to get the money in the opening couple days, because that's really all that matters. Now, again, is it going to make money 100%? Uh, is it going to be, uh, you know, big movie hundred percent. Is it going to be end game? No, it's not. I don't even think, I don't even think it's going to beat the force awakens and the lion King is a big movie. People are excited for, but at the end of the day, it's still coming out at a time that is not going to have a lot of competition, but it's also at the end of a cycle and that end may actually clip it off at the knees a little bit and prevent it from making as much, but I could be wrong. And I could, I could totally admit to being wrong and that's fine with me. But I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts. Do you think that the uh, Lion King is going to beat out Endgame? Do you think that uh, the Lion, Geek's gonna, Lion King is going to beat out Toy Story 4? What, what's your predictions? What do you think is going to own the summer this this coming up here in the next you know month, couple months? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys uh, like this uh, new green screen look, let me know as well because I've been trying it out. And uh, I will talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.